हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द सी एस आर नेट मैथमेटिक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव टूडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू द कंसेप्ट ऑफ द ब्रोकन एक्सट्रीमल्स एंड द रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन आई डी सेवन जीरो फोर वन सेवन एट आई ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ द ब्रोकन एक्सट्रीमल इज न्यू टू यू बट बिलीव मी दिस इज अगेन द वन ऑफ द इजिएस्ट वन बी माई सेफ डॉक्टर हरीश कर्क यू कैन फॉलो माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड सब्सक्राइब इट वेर यू कैन फाइंड द वेरियस लेक्चर्स such as the calculus of variations complex analysis and many more lecture in this playlist you can subscribe my youtube channel and learn the many many shortcut tricks now we are talking about the question id 70417a which is related to the concept of broken extremals and for many students this concept is new to everyone because if you look about the calculus of variations then you can easily watch my previous lectures calculus of variation complete series available in this playlist but the concept of the broken extremal is something new first of all i will tell you what is the meaning of the broken extremal fine because many of the students didn't know what is the meaning of the broken extremals broken extremals means your target is to find the value of the y which has the jump discontinuity that's the simple meaning of the broken extremals that means if you look about this case the interval is my 0 to 1 fine your target is to find a point c at which the function is say this is my function 1 and then this has the function 2 now you can see the at the point c it has the jump discontinuity that's the simple meaning of the broken extremals fine if i call this function is my f1 this is my f2 fine now look at the given statement if you look about that what is your f functional f is y14 minus 3 y1 square fine clearly say this functional is my independent of x and y so then your solution will always be ax plus b fine or i use as a beta because b is already given here now y of 0 is 0 that implies beta will be 0 y of 1 is equal to b that implies a is equal to b so your solution will be y is equal to bx is it a broken extremal no because if you look about the graph from 0 to 1 there is no jump discontinuity this is the value of the y is equal to bx and it has no jump discontinuity fine so what is the meaning of that that means what is the meaning of that that means this is not the broken extremals fine now but if you look about the given options s of 2 s of half if you consider the s of 2 that means b is my 2 fine so now you can see about that your graph will be y is equal to 2 this is the value of the up to the 1 and fine so y is equal to 2x again you will not get the broken extremals but how you can actually find the broken extremals so that i will tell you in this lecture so let me here first of all if you look about the given options if you already know the concept you can see this is this y is my smithwick in the y dash fine this function is my smithwick this function is smithwick that means the number of the broken extremals if it is a smithwick number of the extremals number of the broken extremals are always even number fine because the given functional y is is symmetric so once is a even you can see exactly one element option is directly cancel i will tell you in the detail as well how you can discard the options but if you want to get your answer within the one minute then you can see the second option is directly cancel out fine now how you can solve firstly uh, i i within the two or three minutes i will tell you the concept of the broken extremals fine so your target is to find the value of the y find which has a two functional f1 and f2 what is the domain is 0 to 1 so your target is to find the value of the c such that the value of the y is my jump discontinuity and at the point c the given functional satisfy certain property they must satisfy my three properties find the first property is the value of the given y is my continuous 
सेकेंड प्रॉपर्टी इज द गिवन फंक्शनल एफ इज माई कंटिन्यूस एंड द थर्ड प्रॉपर्टी इज डेल एफ अपॉन डेल वाई डैश इज माई कंटिन्यूस फाइन ऑल्सो यू कैन से द फोर्थ प्रॉपर्टी द गिवन फंक्शनल वाई सेटिस्फाइड माई गिवन कंडीशन भी सेटिस्फाइड माई गिवन कंस्टेंट्स फाइन दीज आर दी ओनली प्रॉपर्टीज यू कैन सेटिस्फाइड दैट नाउ how you can solve the given functional as you can see the functional we have obtained this is a linear function fine so that means the value of the f1 and f2 are my linear now let's see how you can define the value of y so i can define the value of the y from 0 to c and c to 1 fine the value of the linear function is m1x plus alpha it's m2x plus beta and your target is to find the value of the m1 m2 alpha beta and the c fine now clearly say y of 0 is 0 the meaning of the alpha will be 0 and the value of 1 is my b so i can find the value of the beta will be b minus m2 so i can substitute the value here this is my x minus 1 plus b fine now your target is only to find the value of the m1 m2 and c now apply the first condition y is continuous y is continuous at c that means m1 c which is equal to m2 c minus b c minus 1 plus b fine so can you find the value of the c the value of the c will be b minus m2 divided by m1 minus m2 so clearly say from this case the value of the m1 is not equal to m2 why because c is lies between 0 and 1 fine also you can see the value of the c is lies between 0 and 1 what does it means that means the value of the b is lies between m2 and m1 fine or you can also write the value of the c like m2 minus b over m2 minus m1 fine so in this case the value of the b will be lies here m1 and m2 fine now because i already tell you the number of the extremals are always even this is the first condition fine now you can apply the second condition f is continuous that means this function is continuous at the point i can write the function here this is f y dash minus 3 y so this function is continuous at x is equal to c See, here we need the derivative on the first side it is m1 so m14 minus 3 m1 square it must be equal to m24 minus 3 m2 square so if you simplify them i can use them m1 square m2 square m1 square minus m2 square which is equal to 3 times m1 square minus m2 square so that implies m1 square plus m2 square is my 3 or because m1 is not equal to m2 Fine. M1 is not equal to M2, but from this side I can also say M1 is equal to minus M2. Fine. This is the second condition. Now look at the third one. Third one is a partial derivative of the y f with respect to y is my continuous. So minus six y dash. Again you can apply that y dash is my M1 and second is M2. So four m one cube minus six m two, which is equal to four m two cube minus six m two. And if you solve them, four will be the common. It is m one cube minus m two cube, which is six times m one minus m two. And m one and m two both are not same, so I can cancel out m one square plus m two square plus m one m two is my 3 over 
fine. Now you can try to solve them. So I can consider two cases. The first case is when m1 is equal to m2. If I substitute here, you will get m1 square is equal to 3 by 2. m1 is my plus minus 3 over 2. Fine. So your answer will be if m1 is my positive, then this number will be my negative. B is less than of fine. And if you consider m1 is my negative, then it is a minus of root 2 and it's a positive. Fine. Now if you look about the options, S of B, now S of 2, whether, whether the 2 lies in this case? No, 2 doesn't belong to them. That means S of 2, S of 2, there is no broken extremals. So that means the third option is cancel. First option, cancel. Sorry, S2 is broken. There is no broken extremals. So S2 is my empty. That's the fine. Why? S2 means that is a B is equal to 2. And you can see B doesn't lies in this interval. So that means the second option is cancel out. Now, whether the half, half is lies in between them? Yes, it lies that. Look at the second case. What will happen if M1 square plus M2 square is my 3? Again, if I substitute in these equations, M1 into M2 is my minus 3 by 2. And can you find the value of the M1 and M2? You can see I can use the identity of A plus B whole square. It is 3 minus 3, 0. That again give you M1 is equal to minus M2. And whenever M1 is equal to M2, your answer will be plus minus root 3. Is it okay? So therefore, what is your final answer? So your final extremal will be root 3 by 2 x and it's a minus root 3 by 2 x minus 1 b is my half and the value of the c is here because m1 and m2 you have fine and this is less than equal to 1 and if you look about the graphically the value of 1 value of 0 value at the point c so this is the value adds from 0 to c value of d is my half this is my first extremal so s of half is my first extremal which is of the red color fine but if you consider that this value of the b because i have taken in this case m1 is my positive root 3 by 2 if i consider m1 is my negative then your result will be look like say here fine and this one fine so the second extremal is my this black color dotted line so how many elements in this s2 s of half so it has two elements fine so therefore s of half has exactly two element is the right answer and that i already told you because the given functional is my symmetric that's why this is my even so s of half is two elements s of half is exactly one option cancel so right option is three and four are my right answer of this problem you can see that it's a very simple approach and I, I, I understand that this is a new concept for everyone. If you are interested, I can upload the detailed lectures on the broken extremals with the several of the examples. But let me know if you are interested, then only I can upload the broken extremals, more examples. Let me know in the comment box if you are interested, I can upload the video soon. And this is the way you can solve this question. And that's true. That's a little bit time consuming. But if you... If you remember these conditions and do the more practice, then you will realize that it's a very simple problem. I will upload the next video on the broken extremal with the 15 examples. And then you can see, you can solve the problem in a quickly second speed. I hope you can like and comment on this video as well. And hope you can enjoy this session too. I hope you can share this video with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for the watching students. Happy learning always.